Hi ho, Mitzi Goose here, and today we'd like to talk about the treadle tracking on the iWeaveIt. So first, I've just got a photo of my Glamoka Julia with the iPad and keyboard. But before we get started, let's talk about what you'll need to get treadle tracking set up on your iWeaveIt for your weaving. So first off, you're going to need the iWeaveIt software, which works on your iPad or your iPhone. Be sure to buy the treadle tracking add-on feature, which costs something like $6. It's not very much, and it's definitely worthwhile getting. The second thing you'll need is either an iPad or an iPhone. Honestly, we think the iPhone screen is a little small to use with iWeaveIt, but technically it will work. Uh, we actually prefer a standard size iPad. Now, another optional thing that you might like is a Bluetooth keyboard. And the reason we say that is because if you don't have the Bluetooth keyboard, every so many treadles, you'll have to stop and put your finger on the iPad in order to advance to the next set of treadles. We find it easier to use the Bluetooth keyboard, as we'll show you in the video. And the last item is you'll need some sort of holder for your iPad so that you can see it at all times while you're doing your weaving. Here I've circled the photo of my iPad, and it's currently running the treadle tracker, which you can sort of see in the upper uh, left-hand corner of the iPad. And that shows you which treadles are coming up next. You can set that for showing you only one treadle at a time or up to five treadles at a time. I choose to use four treadles at a time. Here we've circled our little miniature keyboard, and it's actually maybe two inches by four inches, something like that. It's a very small little lightweight Bluetooth keyboard that we got at Amazon for approximately $12. And it's Velcro to the right side of the beater. We've got some Velcro on the left side also, just in case we might need that. So here we're going to start the live action video showing you how this works. And this is me doing some weaving. And after four picks, then you'll see me hit the space bar on the miniature keyboard, which will tell the treadle, oh, there we go. Uh, this will tell the treadle tracker on the iPad to advance four picks. Because remember, we had four picks showing at a time. Uh, I chose four because number one is an even number, so when you're throwing the shuttle back and forth, when you need to hit the button, it will always be on the uh, right-hand side. I did put Velcro on the left-hand side just in case I might need that also. We now realize that we forgot to mention to you that in order for you to uh, advance the number of picks by pressing a specified key on the keyboard, you have to do some special configuration on the iPad. And this is a configuration that is actually part of the accessibility features of the iPad. So it's standard built into the iPad, and it takes about 10 minutes to do. We will provide you the link to the instructions so that you can do this too. But just want to let you know that there is a little something special. But once you have this working, when you press the button that you choose on the keyboard, it will stimulate your finger pressing the screen just like you would if you would actually press the screen with your finger. The advantage is that you don't have to stop, reach up to your iPad and click it. You can kind of keep your hands and arms closer to the shuttle and closer to where the action is so that you feel like you stay in the rhythm of your weaving. So we'll, we'll add a link to the video and into the notes so that you can find these instructions and do it on your own. Thanks for watching.